from Batman water pistol to Japanese shaving baby, here is a countdown of the top 10 toys that are inappropriate for children. Number 10. Batman Water Gun Sometimes toy makers choose to go to the extreme to make money, but I think Batman Water Gun is quite blatant and plain wrong in all it's making. The designer of the toy made it look like Batman bending over, but the inappropriate part was how the toy was filled with water and the process of pulling the trigger to get water out through its mouth. Filling up this insane Batman water gun involved removing a plug from Batman's behind and pouring in enough water to get it set. Ready to get wet? Just one more step that will blow your mind. Repeatedly squeeze the Batman's plastic projection, which acts as a trigger, and voila, you get a nice water spray out of the Batman's mouth. But the face of this toy is equally provocative and creepy enough to scare kids. Well, how the manufacturer of this 1960s favorite toy managed to license the product and get it to the market is still a mystery. Number 9. Nimbus 2000 Vibrating Broomstick Originally adapted from the Harry Potter series, this broomstick toy was a source of controversy due to its odd vibrating feature. The Nimbus 2000 broomstick was operated by batteries and featured a grooved handle that could allow kids to ride easily around the house taking after the famous Harry Potter Quidditch players. Whether or not the designers of this strange toy were fully aware of the inappropriate function of this toy is subject to debate. But the fact that kids could be allowed to ride around on a vibrating, kind of a dildo broom is just profane. One would wonder what the company was thinking about introducing such a toy. In fact, just a few months after entry into the market, the Nimbus 2000 vibrating broomstick was blamed by mums for premature sexual awakening, especially among girls. It's no wonder then that one mum went on Amazon to give a review of the product, reporting that her daughter and her friends could spend hours playing with the toy in a closed room. Although some fans of the product argued that the parents should only have removed the batteries from the toy. Number 8. Shapeshifter's Punisher When you look at this toy for the first time, it looks like a nice ordinary toy. But it's until you start exploiting it that you realize it can turn into various weapons, some of which are absolutely inappropriate for children. And one of the inappropriate shapes this toy can assume is when it is in the power pistol position. This is a position that's enough to make adults want to look aside at least for some time to gather the courage. In this power pistol position, the toy can shoot a missile straight from its crotch area. But even though it seems inappropriate for children, this toy is most sought after on the internet. However, it received more controversy from parents after young boys started assuming this position as they played with their genitalia. Well, the manufacturer, Marvel and Toy Biz was forced to remove the toy from the shelves. I just can't tell what happened to those good old days when toys were more child-friendly. Number 7. Growing Up Skipper for those of you who might not be aware, Skipper is Barbie's young infamous sister, who was introduced by a toy manufacturing company, Mattel, in 1964. The company then decided to let Skipper hit puberty by introducing the Growing Up Skipper toy in 1975 to illustrate the puberty stage among girls. Though the toy doesn't show enough signs witnessed among girls during puberty, there's one sign that got the attention of many parents, causing a lot of controversy about the toy. When you rotate the skipper's left arm, she mysteriously grows from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage girl with breasts, just like any teenager out there. Though it might sound mysterious, the company says rotating the arm causes the rubber chest to inflate and her torso to lengthen, causing the change in size and shape witnessed. This toy targets preteens for fun, but I don't think it's best suited for them, especially now that it exposes them early to a stage they are yet to arrive at. But the controversy that arose from this doll was enough to signal just how the society is conservative and would not allow the morals of their young ones to get brainwashed under their watch. Number 6. Peekaboo Pole Dancing Toy I wouldn't expect that kids would be exposed to pole dancing, especially considering the alleged profanity that it comes with. But maybe I was just wrong, because Tesco, a British company, just went the extra mile to unleash the Peekaboo Pole Dancing Toy that comes with a collapsible chrome stripper pole to allow our little girls to practice pole dancing. The kit also comes with fake dollar bills and a DVD with instructions on how to use it. But like other toys of this nature, the Peekaboo pole dancing toy was also received with immense criticism, even as parents claimed that it destroys girls' innocence. This forced the company to recall the product from shelves. And even though pole dancing has become a professional sport among women, the company's intention of introducing this product on the market was not good, considering that their ad campaign revealed that they would later unleash a sex kit within. Well, this leaves me asking how far toy makers can go to get their products selling like crazy. Number 5. Poopy Time Fun Shapes 
Does your kid give you nightmares when it comes to pooping? Well, we got a solution for you. Simply get your little one this poopy time fun shapes and see them get excited when it's time to poop. Though this toy was specifically designed and released to the market for the alleged function of toilet training, there is much more than meets the eye. The main controversy about this toy arose from how the toy is used. Parents are required to insert any of the shapes into the young ones behind and have the poop come out. Number 4. Rad Repeat in Tarzan you probably might have seen this toy as it aired on Ellen DeGeneres' show where she expressed dissatisfaction with the toy's movement. Now, much as Tarzan might be your favorite Disney character due to his strength and personality, the way Mattel, a toy making company, portrayed him through this toy is far beyond children's imagination. The toy looks like any other ordinary toy on the market, but it's until you press the button on his back to make him move that you realize something is out of the ordinary. He first raises one of his arms before starting to make an up and down movement with the arm towards his genitalia while producing his famous battle cry. The way he moves his arm is enough to suggest something weird that only adults can understand. Well, I think this toy is just a mess for kids and can create some inappropriate mental images in the kids' minds. Number 3. Baby Wee Wee Doll This toy is probably what I would say is the most inappropriate for kids. Manufactured by a Spanish toy company, Famosa, the Baby Wee Wee Doll was designed such that kids would feed the doll his bottle and watch him until he waved his arm back and forth near his crotch area to signal that he was ready to go to the bathroom. Kids would then undress the toy and watch him pee. In essence, the toy teaches kids to pee, but I don't think you'd be excited to see kids playing around with their genitalia as they enjoy peeing. And for sure, parents raised issues with the doll's function and the presence of its anatomically correct features, which seems inappropriate for kids. Number 2. Adolf Hitler Doll How about getting your kid a toy version of Adolf Hitler? Sounds unpleasant, right? Well, much as your kid might not have any idea of the atrocities committed by Hitler, you can probably guess without a thought that they might hate on you when they're fully grown to realize that of all the toys in the world, you chose to get them a miniature Adolf Hitler. Hitler was responsible for the massacre of 11 million people during his reign, and I don't see any fun in creating a toy out of such a man. It's like glorifying war, which in my view is very inappropriate for kids. The doll comes with an interchangeable head, changes of clothing, and changes of shoes along with several kinds of outfits like gloves. Number 1. Japanese Shaving Baby – You Can Shave the Baby If this doesn't top the list of the most inappropriate toys, then I don't know what will. This toy is worth getting classified as the most disturbing. The toy was created with several patches of grey-orange hair on several parts of its body to allow kids to shave as they wish. But the most disturbing thing that caused controversy about this toy is that it comes with hair in its pubic region, and this is a big no for children. Was it even necessary for the manufacturer to include hair in the toy's pubic region? Getting your 5-year-old to trim that bushy pubic region of the doll to me sounds weirder. I think we should just let our kids be kids until it's an appropriate time for them to know some of these things. Thanks for watching.